Hi all, today I am here to discuss about one of the disease condition that is occurring in the lungs. We can discuss about the pneumonia. Pneumonia is the inflammatory disease, one or both lungs it will be affect the air sac. So here we will discuss about the detail in this pneumonia. So pneumonia caused by any viral, bacterial or any risk factors such as advanced age, cigarette smoking and exposure to the air pollutions and any uh, already the person have the lower and upper respiratory tract infection. This all the things will leads to the lung pneumonia or pneumonial that is the air sac it is blocked the lungs air sacs or alveoli. So here we can discuss what are the types of pneumonia. We can discuss what are the types Staphylococcus pneumonia that is caused to by Staphylococcus aureus, pneumococcal pneumonia that is caused to by pneumococcus or uh, streptococcal and uh, uh, cytoplasma pneumonia that is caused to by the cytoplasma and uh, uh, legionella pneumonia that is caused to by legionella and this viral pneumonia it is caused to by the influenza and we can see the aspiration pneumonia, this aspiration pneumonia caused to by the gastric content uh, such as any uh, food contents or fluids contents from the aspirating to the lungs, okay. These are the main types of the pneumonia. So here we can discuss about the uh, pathophysiology of pneumonia. The due to the etiological factor, just now we are discussed that are the etiological factors. This due to etiological factor, there is a response, infection response or inflammatory response to the lungs. So when the inflammatory response will occur, that will leads to the loss of defense mechanism of the lungs. When the loss of defense mechanism, there is chances to occur the infection of the lungs. So it will leads to the attack the infection of sterile lower respiratory tract. So when the infection occur, there is chances to colonized of the infection. When colonization occur, there is a fluid are present in normally alveoli, there is inflamed fluid will be occur that is blocked the air sac. When blocked the air sac, the one or both lungs, it is difficulty to breathing or and also it is caused to the other further complications. These are the etiological of the pneumonia. So next we can discuss about the clinical manifestation or signs and symptoms of pneumonia. Due to the uh, bacteria or viral whatever, so it is happening the first symptoms we can see fever and chills. Body temperature will be increased and the person will feel the headache and malaise or tiredness and chest pain because of congestion of the lungs it will feel the pain in chest and uh, fever and cough sputums uh, will be come to the cuffs okay so these are the main signs and symptoms of the pneumonia so next we can discuss about the diagnostic evaluation as you know that before going to the diagnostic evaluation we should collect the patient history and physical examination is the primary we have to do that. So firstly history collection the ask the patient there is any chances to the exposure to the air pollution or uh, any habitual like uh, tomato smoking and those we have to collect it. And also physical examination with help of we can do the auscultation and uh, uh, we have to analyze head to foot examination okay and uh, how to analyze any signs and symptoms of the patient. So after the history collection and physical examination go to the CBC complete blood test and chest x-ray and sputum culture. So next we can see the management. In the management, so firstly medical management we can see. Under the medical management we can provide the broad spectrum antibiotics, oxygen therapy and uh, uh, postural drainage and uh, uh, chest physiotherapy, fluid and electrolyte management, nutritional management, these all the main treatment or main medical management we can provide to the patient. Why we are given to the broad spectrum antibiotics, 
it is to help to reveal from the bacteria already it is caused from the bacterial or viral infection so it is the antibacterial it will help to the prevent the bacterial colonizations and next we can see the oxygen administration as you know in our lungs are main transporting to help to the transport the oxygen and the carbon dioxide when there is a air sac is blocked there is a oxygen and the carbon dioxide it will be blockage and the increased demand of the oxygen in our body so firstly we can provide the oxygen supply it will help to reduce the dyspnea and next we can go for the physiotherapy chest physiotherapy and when we have to giving the chest physiotherapy the person will be recover the feel from pain as well as feel into comfortable and also we can see the tracheal uh, sectioning so more fluid sac it is present in the more fluid filled in the air sac it help to the section and remove the section from the uh, or fluid from the air sac okay these are the main medical management we can do in the pneumonia condition and also another important thing is the nursing management all the medical management we can provide as well as we can provide the and we can assess the patient that is the main role of nurse we should assess the patient condition and record the vital signs and how to analyze the or monitor the input and output and also all the vitals provide the psychological support to the patient and ad, uh, administer the medication as per the doctor's order and give the health education of this disease condition okay these all the things in our part so we have to properly do the our parts and also with help of the medical management patient will be recover as soon so today we are discuss about the one medical condition that is pneumonia pneumonia is the uh, when the blockage or air filled sac is in the lungs one or both lungs that is the inflammatory response of the lung parenchyma and it is due to the when due to this bacterial or viral infection in the air sac will be blocked that condition is pneumonia hope you understand this class thank you for watching this video we'll meet you in next class